रेडियो देश बाशी अस्सलाम वालेकुम एक नंबर खाद्य उत्पादन दिगुन करते हबे विलंबर समस्त रास्ता दुई धारे फलेर गाज लगाते हबे एक सप्ताह के मध्य सामरिक शासन तुले ने वहां पे जाते पड़ते के जाना मारे काजे जाना भी करते हाय जाना पड़ते शिकार the man behind the modern Republic of Bangladesh. Major Zia Rahman, the proclaimer of the independence of Bangladesh. In this video, we explore the life and legacy of Major Zia Rahman, focusing on his pivotal role in proclaiming Bangladesh's independence and his enduring impact on the nation. On behalf of our national leader, Zia Rahman was born on January 19, 1936, in Bogora, Bengal Presidency, British India. His early education took place across various parts of India due to his father's job as a chemist. He completed his secondary education at the Hair School in Kolkata before moving to Dhaka for further studies. From a young age, Zia demonstrated leadership qualities and a keen interest in military service. In 1953, Zia Oman joined the Pakistan Military Academy and was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Pakistan Army in 1955. His military career was marked by courage and strategic brilliance. He made history during the 1965 Indo-Pakistani War, earning the Hilali Jirat, Pakistan's second highest military award, for his valor in combat. This was a testament to his leadership and bravery. Not many army officers in the world have received such high-ranking awards from two different countries, as he also received the Beer Utom Award from Bangladesh, another high-ranking honor. The year 1971 marked a turning point in the history of the Indian subcontinent. The political and social tensions between East and West Pakistan culminated in a brutal conflict that would lead to the birth of Bangladesh. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the leader of Bangladesh, had created a situation to declare war against Pakistan, however, he never did. Neither did he initially seek full independence for Bangladesh. I want that uh, I want to live like a free citizen of a free country. You mean independence? That I don't mean. It can be done in many ways. He wanted provincial rights for East Pakistan and aimed to become the Prime Minister of Pakistan after winning the general election. There was a saying, if Pakistanis had agreed to hand over power to Sheikh Mujib, Bangladesh might not have gained independence at that time. On March 25, 1971, Sheikh Mujib was arrested, and the whole nation became leaderless. Most of the Awami League leaders moved to India. Then suddenly, Major Zia declared the independence of Bangladesh. I was told about it and having known the earlier background that the Pakistanis were out to kill our people, the civilian population and the Bengali army personnel, we had no other way but to take up arms and fight our way out. Uh, as a last resort, I wanted to tell the world what was happening and I went up the air in the evening and I made the declaration. I, Mr. Zia Rahman, do hereby declare independence of Bangladesh. This was the turning point of Bangladesh's independence. This historic proclamation by Major Zia Rahman on March 26, 1971, from Chittagong, was a defining moment in the Liberation War of Bangladesh. It galvanized the Bengali population and the Mukti Bahini, the guerrilla resistance movement, providing them with a formal declaration of independence and a rallying cry for their struggle. Zia's proclamation was not just a symbolic act, it was a strategic move that provided a focal point for the independence movement. It signaled to the world that the Bengali population was committed to establishing a sovereign nation, distinct from Pakistan. This declaration also played a crucial role in uniting various factions within the resistance movement under a common goal. Zia's leadership during the Liberation War was instrumental. 
He organized resistance efforts, coordinated military strategies, and inspired countless freedom fighters to join the cause. His dedication and vision for an independent Bangladesh were evident in his actions and speeches throughout the conflict. Major Zior Rahman is often referred to as the George Washington of Bangladesh. During the American Revolution, George Washington, as an army officer, declared the independence of the United States of America and later became its president. Similarly, Major Zior Rahman proclaimed the independence of Bangladesh and later became its president. Major Zia is the George Washington of Bangladesh. After the war, the new nation faced numerous challenges, from rebuilding its war-torn infrastructure to establishing a stable government. The assassination of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman in 1975 plunged the country into political turmoil. During this critical period, Major Zia emerged as a central figure in the nation's recovery and political restructuring. In the aftermath of Mujib's assassination, Hondokar Mustok Ahmed took over power, and Bangladesh's political situation became very unstable. There was unrest in the army, police, and even in the government itself. To stabilize the political situation in Bangladesh, Major Zia Rahman had to impose martial law in 1977, two years after Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's assassination. His leadership was pivotal in stabilizing the country during this chaotic time. By 1977, Zia had become the president of Bangladesh, ushering in a new era of governance and reform. <laughs> One of Major Zia's significant contributions was the introduction of multi-party democracy. This was a marked departure from Sheikh Mujib's one-party Bakshal system, and laid the foundation for a more inclusive and participatory political landscape in Bangladesh. Zia's decision to reintroduce multi-party politics was a critical step in fostering democratic governance in Bangladesh. It allowed for greater political competition and representation, which are essential components of a healthy democracy. History shows that when military officers come to power, they often ban political parties, and when political leaders are in power, countries stay democratic. However, Bangladesh was the opposite, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, a political leader, created Bexal and banned all political parties, while Major Zia came to power and opened up all political parties. That's why he is honored as the man behind Bangladesh's modern democracy. In 1978, Zia founded the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, BNP. Under his leadership, the BNP quickly became a major political force, advocating for national unity, economic development, and the empowerment of the Bangladeshi people. Major Zia's vision for Bangladesh was one of inclusivity and progress. He believed in the potential of the Bangladeshi people and sought to create opportunities for growth and prosperity. His policies reflected his commitment to improving the lives of all citizens. One of Zia's forward-thinking policies was the promotion of overseas employment. By encouraging Bangladeshi workers to seek opportunities abroad, particularly in the Middle East, he addressed unemployment issues and brought in valuable remittances that bolstered the national economy. The remittances from overseas workers have been a crucial source of foreign exchange for Bangladesh, contributing to economic stability and growth. Zia's policy in this regard was visionary, and has had long-lasting positive effects on the economy. Major Zia also focused on self-sufficiency and rural development. He initiated the canal digging movement, which aimed at improving irrigation and boosting agricultural productivity. 
This initiative transformed rural Bangladesh, enhancing food security and improving the livelihoods of countless farmers. The canal digging projects under Zia's administration significantly improved irrigation systems, leading to increased crop yields. This, in turn, contributed to food security and rural development, laying the groundwork for sustainable agricultural growth. In addition to agricultural reforms, Zia's tenure saw efforts to strengthen Bangladesh's economy through industrialization and foreign investment. He worked to create a favorable business environment that attracted foreign capital and technology, essential for modernization. Zia's policies helped establish a robust industrial sector in Bangladesh. His focus on infrastructure and investment created new opportunities for economic growth and development, setting the stage for future progress. Throughout his life, Major Zia was a charismatic leader who inspired loyalty and respect. His vision and policies have left an indelible mark on Bangladesh, making him a central figure in the nation's history. His leadership during the Liberation War and his subsequent contributions to the nation's political and economic development continue to influence Bangladesh today. One of Major Zia's significant international contributions was his initiative to create the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, ZARC. He envisioned ZARC as a platform for regional collaboration among South Asian countries, fostering economic cooperation, cultural exchange, and mutual understanding. This initiative has helped strengthen regional ties and has been pivotal in promoting peace and development in South Asia. President Zia Rahman's vision for ZARC was instrumental in bringing together South Asian nations to work collectively on common issues. His efforts laid the foundation for a regional organization that continues to play a crucial role in the socio-economic development of the region. Another notable aspect of Zia's legacy is the symbolic Zia tree in the Saudi desert. During a visit to Saudi Arabia, President Zia planted a tree in the desert as a gesture of friendship and solidarity between Bangladesh and Saudi Arabia. This tree Surviving in the harsh desert conditions, has become a symbol of resilience and enduring friendship between the two nations. The Zia tree stands as a testament to President Zia Rahman's vision of fostering strong international relations. It symbolizes the enduring bond between Bangladesh and Saudi Arabia, and serves as a reminder of his efforts to strengthen diplomatic ties. Major Zia's leadership was characterized by his ability to connect with people and his dedication to national development. His legacy continues to shape Bangladesh's political and economic landscape, and his role as the proclaimer of independence is a testament to his enduring impact on the nation. On behalf of our great national leader, the Supreme Commander of Bangladesh. As we reflect on Major Zia Rahman's enduring impact on Bangladesh, it is with great sorrow that we remember his untimely assassination. On May 30, 1981, during a coup attempt in Chittagong, Major Zia was tragically killed. His sudden deaths sent shockwaves throughout the nation, plunging Bangladesh into a period of mourning and uncertainty. The loss of Major Zia was a profound blow to the country. He was not only a hero of the Liberation War but also a visionary leader who had guided the nation through its formative years.